Alrighty y'all, welcome on back to the channel. We are on the attack front here today, going hunting, archery hunting. That's right, we're getting out the bow, coming off our first archery buck of the season, wabam! So today is going to be all about trying to go after some hogs. The hogs, if you watch one of the last videos, we had hogs coming in. Uh, it probably would have ruined my hunt after that big eight point if uh, if I would have waited any longer. Just the, the timing of them coming in. They've been coming in almost every day that I've hunted out here. So uh, we're going to be going after hogs and then scouting out new bucks. So I think the next time I come out here, probably going to bring friend or family member, scout out some new new. Um, Call bucks for them and then also look at any kind of trophy deer. Is there any trophy deer yet? I really haven't seen anything huge out here yet. Just a lot of mature big A points. I've seen some younger 10 points that we definitely want to leave alone and uh, there's a lot more to explore. So that's what today's video is all about. So we're going to start the video off early in the box blind with a bow and arrow going after pigs and checking out some deer. Check it out. Under die. nonsense 
Why is someone driving down this road? There goes the deer. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this has to stop. What the hell is this? Well, oh my buddy over there. I just talked with him. He said, I didn't scare any deer off, did I? It's like, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I wasn't going to shoot him anyway, so don't feel too bad. But, oh, like I said in the last video, y'all, uh, they've got a quarry out here. So I, I got on this lease, and um, I knew there was a quarry, but they have, they've had to run a pipeline down some some of these areas where a couple of our blinds are. So having to work around that so i just told him hey man like 6 30 to 8 that's like prime so if you could not run down here then yeah that would be great so he understood but uh, that's part of it y'all so if it's not hogs it's tractors and whatnot scaring off the deer out here <laughs> kind of have to work around that around haven't seen anything construction um, on the road stuff is is pretty high if it ain't the hog screwing up your deer hunt it's the big old dozer screwing up your hog hunt what is a man to do a man is to go drink a delicious cup of coffee enjoy the morning and enjoy life that's what you do Now this is my little coffee kit here with me in my truck. You never know when you're gonna need a good morning coffee. We do a lot of traveling. It's good to start the morning off right. Get your day going strong with some good coffee. So keep my coffee in a coffee gator thing. That keeps semi-fresh. I've got a couple cups and then I've got my pour over system in here. And I've got a water filter as well if it comes to that. Just not a huge fan of like, you know, the Folgers at Deer Camp. I'll do it. I'll do it on the old coffee pot, but a nice tasty pour over. You know, once you become like a coffee snob, you kind of just have to you have to get in there and do your thing, you know. Simple old Folgers at Deer Camp just doesn't do anymore. A couple scoops, one and a half will do. You take the water that's boiling, pour it on top of that and simply let it filter through. Pour over, as they say. Pour it over. Yes, sir. Ooh, wow. I'm scared. Can't do it, can't do it. Gotta let it sit. Right now, y'all, we pretty much have the rest of the day to go explore and uh, start marking things. I got a few more cameras I'm gonna set out. I need to replace batteries and things like that. Do some basically some little ranch work. While I'm waiting for my coffee to cool and do all this ranch work stuff, I'm gonna let some time fly and I'll see you guys at prime piggy time. <laughs> right now because we're in a weird wind shift it's coming out of the east so I'm looking at this app I'm, I'm, in a, I'm not sponsored by these people but um, hunt stand is this app it tells you which direction the wind is blowing from throughout the hour and you can monitor it so what I've done uh, today riding around in the meat wagon is just marked all these blinds and the feeders and all these spots and stuff that I like and then I can kind of zoom out and check all those on here and see like what's going to be the best winds and I may not I may just go to a stand and sit on the ground if they come to the feeder you know I can uh, take action but if they're kind of being weird and they skirt around I can do that um, I can I could go mobile with a bow.
clear something was up. You know, I think the cows kind of screwed it up. I wasn't crazy about where I was sitting because I feel like a lot of the animals were going to come from behind me. And I think they were smelling me before I even got in there. So I think I'm going to head back to uh, one of the, the blind that I shot my deer at the other night because the pigs had been there just constantly. I'm not going to go to the actual stand, but I'm just going to kind of stalk around it. Well y'all, pretty strange we did not see a pig tonight. It's like when I started hunting for them, they've gone on this illusion plan. But maybe I do like it for the deer. That was kind of the purpose, you know, get the hogs out of the way so the deer, uh, the deer hunting could be better in those crucial low light hour times. What I did do, I got up out of that spot because the cows, I think kind of screwed it up. I didn't really feel good about where I was because uh, the way the wind was blowing, it would have been good for where the feeder was, but I think they, they just the way that set up, I had an ambition that they would come behind me, so, and then they would smell me and not come in. So I got up, I walked around, I saw some deer walking around, didn't see any hogs. I listened, didn't hear any hogs, and I walked up to the, what, what we call the Gordo um, tree stand, which is where Mike shot his doe, I shot my first call buck my vulture camera I've been getting updates on the bucks that have been coming in uh, since I was gone because the battery ran out for the last four or five days and there was a big buck on there um, and then I started looking and I just want to make sure because the buck I saw tonight there at the end of the day right where the pigs have been coming in a lot there was no pigs but there was a big buck you know five six years old maybe older i don't know just shoot, like brisket sagging big stocky just a beautiful looking i think he's an eight point check the time uh, when he was still there at 7 30. so if we get a picture on our camera of a a bruiser at 7 30 we're gonna know that's that exact same buck and somebody needs to hunt that guy I think I definitely made a good decision the other day on the same stand just to go ahead and take that nice mature uh, eight point because the hogs could come in at any minute and ruin the hunt. But that guy right there probably would have come in because he seems to be coming in every day. And if the wind was staying the same tomorrow morning, I'd be hard pressed tempted to go and sit there and try to get that buck. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Would you try to hunt that buck? I guess I'm gonna have to give these hogs a little break, y'all. Come back later and get them, but uh, the attempt, the pursuit is always fun. All the decisions, decisions, it's all it's all good out here. It's like, man, should we take this buck? Should we chase this animal, go after this and that? Living the dream, y'all. So thanks for tuning in today. Make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for outdoor greatness, and I will see y'all soon. Wishing you the best in the outdoors, too. See you, bye.